You can imagine in a country where there is no fuel. Somebody said he's going to commit suicide if the fuel crisis does not get better. Diri Bosa. Bosa! 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 Nigeria, one of Africa's most populous nations, with crude oil as its major resource. Since the country's independence in 1960, there has been a major crisis that has refused to go away. You're wondering what that is? Find out more on the streets as we take a ride on On The Go. The month of May 2015 is a month that Nigerians will never forget in a hurry. Major organizations were shut down. Life was a bit tough for Nigerians. This is what they have to say about their experiences during the fuel scarcity. Scarcity. It's really affecting us very badly. It has not been easy for the past few days now. This morning I was embarrassed with the situation in Nigeria. You can imagine in a country where there is no fuel. How are you able to carry out your day to day activities? I found it difficult to get to work today. I do board bus from K2 to Bagada 100 Naira times 150, but now. I took Keke that was supposed to be 50 Naira. I took it 100 Naira today. Transport was 500 from Jodi to Songo. I remember the entire it's 100 Naira 150. From a place like Bagada to Oshodi, ordinarily you pay 50 to 70 Naira. But in this case, you are paying 200 Naira. I feel sad because to go to work tomorrow is difficult. Instead of me taking bike or bus, I have to check because I don't have enough money. I had to go from CMS, boarding buses up and down, and the transport fare was not funny. It was crazy. It's affecting me badly. Like now, I'm going somewhere, I have to check. It's terrible. Somebody said he's going to commit suicide if the fuel crisis does not get better. I would prefer everybody should go back over and say spending the time they will resolve the issue. If my eyes not deceive me and not true be the things my ears they hear May 6, 2015 was the meeting date between the federal government of the Good Luck-led administration and the oil workers of Nigeria, which many believed would have been the solution to the crisis, but the situation became worse after the meeting. What do you think is the cause of the recurring fuel scarcity in Nigeria? I heard maybe NNPC or suppliers, but I can't really say the main thing that is the problem about the first cases. I heard that the government are holding the truck drivers, their salary, they try to strike. The marketers who are saying the government is holding them have also extorted us. And what they are insisting is that if they do not pay their money, they won't move truck. Whatever the government might be holding them, they've gotten much more than that from the generality of the people. Sorry, sorry. Could subsidy be one of the major causes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This cushion of subsidy on subsidy, it has been removed a long time ago. There we have issues that bad past administrations have this issue. But still, the same Nigerians spoke against it. It's not on this present administration. Subsidy has been a long way through our lives since the independent days. And now we are coming back to it and saying we need to remove it, which is uh, totally out of it. The only solution is to leave the monocultural economy to a diversified source of revenue. That is the only way. We as Nigerians should be able to beat our hands to our chest and say, this is the reason why we are working. We should be proud to be Nigerians. We cannot just be the giant of Africa. We are the fifth largest oil supplier in the world. You don't have foil. And you go to your neighboring countries, they have foil. A country came here and studied our palm carne, And now they are the world producer of palm carne. Why we have this in abundance? Oh, oh. Sorry, sorry. Okay, we've heard everything. Still, Nigeria must progress. What is the way forward? My advice is, Nigerians please, just endure the moment. Whatever is the issue, they should just set to it. But I just want us to have hope because we are Nigerians and our enduring spirit is very high. So I want us to keep the spirit high and keep the Lagos spirit high too. I just hope and I wish that the government will put a stop to this. Stop depending on the government. Let us work hard. We have local resources to build local industry. It is only God that can transform this country from where it is. 
to where it is supposed to be. The Lord is our strength. God should have mercy on us so that everybody can move freely. You can get bus to where you are going to. Unfortunately, there are no lies, there are no but issues like that will be tackled by the administration. If we can build our local industries, I think we we'll enjoy. So that is my advice. <laughs> We are also looking forward to a new government. The handover ceremony may have come and gone. It is no longer news that we have a new government. What is your take on the new government? I believe in the incoming administration. The new government will be able to find a solution to, to the situation in the country. A new government that he should give us the best that we need, especially this energy sector. I know who Buhari is. He's a disciplinarian to the core. He's a house of planning. And you know what the house of planning means? They say A, they believe in A. They are not the normal house that you pay. So he will come and leave us. It's ironical that we produce crude oil in our country, but lack the same product we produce. Now that we have a new government in place, let's hope and pray things will fall in place. And that's so much we can take on On The Go. Do remember to keep tabs on www.fusechannel.com at Views and Tunes on Twitter, Views and Tunes on Facebook, and Views and Tunes on Instagram. Let's do this again next time. Thanks for being there, and bye-bye for now.